Hey guys, what is up? This is Nagua here with another Sims 4 news video. Now I know it's been a while and I didn't make a video about the new stuff back, stuff pack, um, cool kitchen stuff. Uh, the reason I didn't is because we knew that Gamescom was coming up and that EA was going to have a big announcement for us players, so I was going to wait and throw it all into one video. Now if you already know about the stuff pack or you know you're not interested, that's fine. The information about that will be at the end of this video so you can skip over it. You don't have to watch it. Um, but I would love for you to. Um, anyways, the main topic of conversation today is the new expansion pack that they announced in Germany today at Gamescom, which is Get Together. Now, if you missed the live stream, I don't blame you. I did too. Uh, it was at 4 a.m. Eastern Standard Time there in Germany, so... Of course, a lot of people are going to miss it. However, um, the news is out now. We've got a few opinions. We've seen the trailers. So I feel like it's a good time to go ahead and talk about it. Okay, so you may be wondering what Get Together is about. Um, that's a really good question. <laughs> it seems to be about a lot of different things. Um, specifically, getting together. Hanging out. Um... It will introduce a new world into your game called Windenburg. It is European themed, it adds ruins, there's a business district, a countryside, private island, and who knows what else. Now, this is a place for your sims to visit. So we don't have confirmation on whether or not it will be a place that our sims can live, or if it's just a vacation island like Granite Falls is, or world, like Granite Falls is. Um, that being said, if it is a vacation spot, can we go and stay overnight like Granite Falls? Or is it a day visit thing? We really don't know. Um, they add two new skills, <clears throat> DJing and dancing. I kind of like that they add dancing because all of your sims are going to be on a different level with dancing. They all seem to just stand around doing the same thing. So maybe this is going to add a little bit more variety. DJing might be cool. Um... I don't know if they're going to add it to the weddings, if there's going to be like a new career path, if you can turn it into an own, your own business, if you have to get to work. I don't really know. It really, it's still brand new news. It's coming out in November. So there's a, we still have a lot of time to learn things and there are a lot of things that we probably won't even know until we get the game pack. Now, another thing is. For some reason, they felt the need to specify that they added walk-in closets. Wow! I mean, that's going to be great for builders and stuff. Or for those of you who are normal and want walk-in closets. Just, like, actual closets instead of building, like, a hole in your house. Um, I don't know if it'll be, like, built into the wall. Like, if it'll just be a door on the wall and it won't show up on your, um, like, house outline. For some people that'll be preferable, for others it'll probably drive them crazy. We don't know. We'll have to wait and see. They have added a closet woohoo. Yes, your sims can play seven minutes in heaven. Maybe that'll actually be a choice for the teens. That would be really cool. Um, when I was reading up on the sims website, they seem to have also referred to a, um, it says romp in the bushes. So I don't know if you can, like, just do stuff in, like, nature now. If there's, like, an outdoor woohoo. Like, not just camping, but, like, maybe in, like, actual bushes. Who knows? Um, they have a lot of images from uh, the, uh, the private island, I'm assuming, what it is. Um, and they have a huge bonfire, which is cool. And then fire dancing. So, these look like really fun things that you can add to your stories, you can add to your sims' lives. It looks great. There seems to also be like a natural water area that we get some uh, video play of them swimming in. It's very short snippet. We don't see a lot of it. Who knows? We'll have to wait, learn more about it, or just buy the expansion pack ourselves. Now, finally, the last thing that I'm kind of most interested in is they are adding clubs. What is a club, you ask? It kind of 
it builds on Sims um, personalities more. As we all know, generally Sims hang out with whoever they're going to hang out with. It's a random, it's a random number poll um, in the code on whether or not they'll like or not like who they're speaking to. Clubs kind of changes this. It kind of makes their personalities more relevant, more important. So when your sim joins a club, it kind of dictates how they act, who they hang out with, who they don't hang out with. So they're like sports clubs, people who play, who like to play football, you know, people who like to hang out and go to bars. There's, I don't know if there's a foodie thing, but another thing is you can make clubs of your own. So like me, I will make a geek club and I will have my geeks in it. And maybe I'll have my like brainy people and artsy people. You can make your own clubs. And it, 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 like I said, it dictates who your sims hang out with. It makes their personalities more relevant to your game, which I think is really awesome because it kind of sucks to work so hard on a character that you just want to love, but their character traits mean nothing. So this kind of changes that. This kind of makes it more relevant. And I find that really, really cool. Um, so that's all the main information that I can think of that's out right now. Um, again, I will add more as it comes to, as things come out, I'll come out with another new video. I think Get to Work, I had two videos. So, you know, and we have uh, four months about August, September, October, November. Three months. So, we have plenty of time for more information to come out. And like I said, check back with my channel. I'll be letting you guys know as much comes out as possible. Now, to talk about the new stuff pack that comes out in about a week on August 11th, the Cool Kitchen Stuff Pack. The majority of it, it adds new stuff for your kitchen. Pretty basic. Um, they they talked a lot about the new like ice cream maker machine that they're adding. Um, supposedly, you can add all sorts of toppings like sprinkles, bananas, whatever, and then some of them will have effects. interesting thought um, not really sure what those effects may be we'll have to check in hopefully I will have that um, to share with you guys do a let's play I know I'm kinda behind I still have to get the spa day one but hopefully I can get both of them at the same time so I can show you guys what's up what's with the new packs what I think now um, speaking of what people think there are a lot of mixed signals for get together. Some people are excited, some people aren't. There are some people who think it's completely stupid and that they're selling us things that should have been in the original. That's a very valid point. There are other people who are who are super excited about this new European style style world and and the thought of ruins and you know there's all sorts of different opinions. Um, I've watched the, um, little video preview trailer a few times myself. I'm excited. I, I love adding to my game no matter what. Also, get to work, get together. It looks like they're going with a theme, but I don't know where they're going to go. Like, get seasons, get pets. <laughs> Anyways, oh. And then, like, pets would get to work, and then you can have a pet store. That would be awesome. Anyways, sorry, guys. Little tangent there. Anyways, um, like I said, let me know what you think. If you like this video, please leave a like below. Comment what your opinions are. Um, are you excited? Are you not? Are you going to get the new um, kitchen stuff pack? Are you going to get the spa day game pack? Let me know. I would love to hear from you all. Um, and please subscribe if you want to see Minecraft Sims 4 
gaming news, all sorts of stuff. We fell kind of behind. Last month was really rough, but we're getting back in the groove of things, and we would love to share our games with you guys. We love our fans, so please show your love. Um, thanks, guys. Bye.